Hi, today we're going to take a look at points, lines, and planes. Uh, we're, going to fit, we're given a figure with points, lines on a plane, all there, uh, and we're going to find some information off of it. But I want to talk about this dashed line, solid line right here. So we have a picture. We have uh, two lines on there that are nice and flat. What's happening here is we have a third line that pops up out of the surface. So point D is still there lying on that flat surface. Point E is way up in the air on the top of the marker. This dashed line, it's a part of this marker that you can't see that's hidden when I kind of tilt this, this plane of existence. On the bottom, it pops out solid again because that's like a little bit that you can see that peeks out from underneath the plane. That's all that's happening here. So keep in mind that these two lines are flat and this line N shoots up out of the surface. Okay, let's find some stuff. Find a line containing point B. Point B is right here. Now there's multiple ways of writing this. You could say line L. Line L runs right here. It contains B, great. You could also say line M, which is right there. That also has B. You could also write this containing two points. So in order to write a line, you need two points. I could say, uh, BD with a line over it. BD contains line B, or point B. Uh, I could also say AB with a little arrow, with the line arrows up there. What this says is that we have a line and it continues on forever. We have arrows on the end that says it continues on forever. Uh, this is not the only ones. We could also say DC with a line on top. We could say BC on there. They all work. Find a plane containing point D. Um, we can do kind of the same setup. Now, we already have something that's labeled plane P that has D on it. So I could just say plane P. In order to name a plane given points, we don't want to use two. Two gives us a line. We need three. Three will give us a plane, but they cannot be collinear. We want them to be non-collinear. So we can say plane A, B, D. We could say plane A, B, C. We could even say plane A, B, F. Take this guy all the way out here. Uh, find a plane containing points E and F. All right, so E, up in the air, up in the sky. F, out here in no man's land, all by itself. That's fine. I have two, I just need one more point somewhere. Why not use D? We could say plane E, D, F. We could even make up something else and say E, B, F. Uh, when it comes to lines, we wanna try and keep it with what we see. When you see a plane, we have a little more freedom to kind of expand out. Uh, find a line containing point E. So here, uh, again, like what we did up here, we have two options. We could say line N, line N contains point E, or we could say DE with a little line on top of it to say line DE. Um, you could also write ED, also works, doesn't matter if it's backwards. Uh, and that's using a figure to find points, lines, and planes.